place-based learning is about expanding your sense of possibility beyond the common restraints of a typical classroom environment. It's about recognizing that we can turn the entire world or at least our entire community or portions of our community into our classroom or our collection of classrooms. Place-based learning is not about field trips or quick trips. It's about actually learning in and amid others in the community or in other aspects of the environment beyond the classroom and the school. And I'm going to talk about this a little bit today in this video. I'm going to give you six starting points. If you're intrigued by this idea of place-based learning, maybe you've read about it a little bit and you want to learn more and you're ready to try it, I'm going to give you six starting points. And if you find this valuable, go ahead and let me know in the comment area and hit that like button. So let's go ahead and get started with this. The first one, and I use this phrase a lot, is consider the possibilities. This really begins by simply refusing to accept uh, the physical classroom as an unchangeable constant. It's an idea of expanding your sense of possibility. Well, where could we learn? What would be another environment where it would be very conducive to what we're doing and what we want to do in this class, what we want to accomplish, accomplish together and learn together? And begin to map out and look around in your community with new eyes. Look in your community and imagine learning spaces. Imagine spaces that could be used to learn and to grow together. The second thing is think beyond the field trip. So don't think about one day trips. Oh, we're going to go visit the bank. We're going to go visit here. We're going to go visit the park. But think instead about what would happen if you actually engaged in the majority of your learning in the community in various spaces. Just allow yourself to imagine that and toy with that idea, play with it, experiment with it, just thought experiments. You don't even have to do anything. Or maybe you can go on a walk and look around and you can obviously informally talk to other people about it. And that gets to number three, start to build a network in the community. Get to know people in the community. Go around, go to storefronts, go to other places, go to communities, find out the people behind the places and the spaces and meet them. You can go to the Chamber of Commerce and other places like that too. And, and connect with people, learn about them, and then begin to share a little bit of what you're thinking and wondering about. You'll start to develop a bit of a community network network. And these can be really valuable partners as you engage in this place-based learning experiment. Next, learn from others who have done it. Place-based learning is not new, and there are lots of schools on the K-12 level who have devoted themselves almost entirely to place-based learning. They are place-based learning schools. They don't use traditional physical classrooms at all or very much. On the higher education level, it's less common. And then when you think about learning well beyond formal schooling, there are many instances and examples of place-based learning. People who've used local parks and libraries and other spaces as expressions and learning spaces for what they're doing as a learning community. So uh, learn from others and you have uh, lots of sources online. You can search for videos and articles and books. There are many of them to explore. Find the examples. Look for people who are doing it. Try to get as concrete of a vision of what this looks like and feels like as possible. So when you find those examples, reach out to people, ask them for a few thoughts or tips. Next one that I'm going to give is uh, get internal support. So at your school or formal organization, if you are engaging in this in a formal learning context, K-12 or higher education, make sure you know the policies and the procedures, make sure you have the proper permissions and so forth. And you don't want to get caught up in some of those issues. You want to make sure that you've done your due diligence. And once you have support, you might have to do a little bit of convincing and help people learn about this practice and how it happens. But once you have it, that takes you to step number six, which is just give it a try. Try it out. Experiment with it. Maybe just do it for a few days or a week or a couple of weeks and map it out, plan it out, get it all coordinated. And when you're ready, go ahead and jump in and try it out and learn from it. Keeping in mind, though, you don't learn to play the piano overnight. No one sits down and plays a beautiful classical or jazz masterpiece on the piano the first time they sit down. And it takes time. It takes practice. So don't expect yourself to have a perfect place-based learning experience the first time you 
you do it. You have to try this out and you and the learners together will figure it out. If you find this valuable, please again, let me know in the comment area, hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel.